uh, Sister Patrice, who's writing for the paper now, Shy, your sister, Sister Jamila, and all you know, people who came and heard and came to a meeting, you know, for the people who are here now, how many people are here are still victims? Because I know a lot of people left. Victims of police brutality. You're still here? Okay. And uh, but what I want to say to you, brother, is be consistent. The only way this government whip your ass is that you step aside. That's right. You right. know, uh, as long as you're fighting and coming after these motherfuckers, you know, as long as you're coming at them and you might be got somebody that got your back. And uh, uh, the secret to this is understand that this isn't just you that's happening to you. It's everybody. And I'm saying the example of what happened in Connecticut, and you, know, you know, it's been happening, you know, Columbine, all these other places. That mentality is American as apple pie. When you think they got that boy you pack it, I can't have my way, I'll kill your mother, I'll kill your father, I'll kill your children. That's what each of them did. They didn't know how to direct that energy. Where's that example from? The bombing in Palestine, Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, Vietnam, North, North Korea, South Korea, West Korea, down Baltimore, all over. But I'm saying they haven't won. Their victory is when we stop. But we won't stop. World of War is an example. The MOVE organization is an example. I'm not here. People in and make you understand. Brother, sister, you talking about killing? These monsters killed 11 men, women, and children of my family. These cops beat me up. I'm talking about black cops who had that white mentality, that Ku Klux Klan mentality. I was, I'm 4 foot 11 now, weighed 98 pounds. I was beat in jail, beat out of jail, had a bag broke, head spit open, teeth kicked down my throat, my family bombed, they murdered 11 of them, but you know one thing? I must fight. You cannot give up the fight. You cannot give up the fight. They want to make you feel as though they're women. Example, Mumia and Boo Jamal. Mumia and Boo Jamal.
anybody to stand up and resist this government. You better believe they're coming. We're standing in a church. What was Jesus Christ crowned that black political prisoner, the most famous one that sat on death row? And uh, he wasn't in jail because he beat, robbed, stole something from somebody. He was in jail because he fed the people. He fed the people the truth. And he didn't compromise, not in the eye of the enemy. I'm saying compromising in the eye of the enemy really means your demise. That's why we're in the problem that we have right now. Because we believe in compromise. We have nothing to compromise. Compromising caused the death of the sister that said, I say, oh, it was the death of the brothers that was standing on the court. It is the death of the brothers and sisters that's in them jail. I mean, it is the slave ship that's across America that they call jail because we believe in fucking who? Another corner. Yeah. These people are poison. 